simple way, simple way, without reading Quran. Brother, I am asking a simple question. Is robbing good or bad? Robbing is good or bad? Robbing is bad. Bad? Yeah. Raping a girl is good or bad? No, 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 bad. Bad. Okay, now, I am asking you a question. Logically, I suppose happen to be the biggest mafia. Hypothetically. I am a big robber. You prove to me logically and scientifically. I am a very logical person. I am a scientific person. I am a logical person and scientific person. You prove to me why robbing is bad for me and I will stop robbing. Only one reason you give me, one good reason why robbing is bad for me and I will stop robbing. It hurts others. It hurts people. It hurts others. What difference does it make to me? If it hurts, if I rob, if I rob a thousand real, it is benefiting me. I can see movie. I can go to a five-star hotel. What difference does it make whether it hurts others? Does it hurt me? I told you, prove to me why it is bad for me, not for others. I am least bothered about the others. Why is it bad for me? When I'm robbing thousand, if it hurts him, no problem. What difference does it make to me? If it hurts somebody else, does it make a difference to me? I can enjoy, I can see movie. I can eat chicken biryani. I asked you, give me one logical reason why it is bad for me, not why it is bad for others. I am a big mafia. I am powerful. I am a scientific person, logical person. Prove to me one good reason, logical, why robbing is bad, I will stop robbing. Come on. Another try, brother. Another try. One more try. Why it is bad? No answer. No answer. Try, try. There are 20, 30 reasons, 100 reasons you can give. You know, actually, as you said, the religion means the way of life. Not religion. Why robbing is bad? Tell me. Don't go to religion. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming to the point. No, not point. First, tell me why robbing is bad. We'll come back to your point afterwards. I'll come to your point afterwards. When that yes. is the way of life. Not way of life. Tell me why robbing is bad according to you. Why it is bad for me, I will stop robbing. Up to me, you know, it hurts others. So, but you know, what difference does it make to me when it hurts others? Does it hurt me? Of course, you know, why once... Why it is bad for me, not why it is bad for others? Once we come to the society, you know, we have to face, face them. Okay, once we come to the society, you have to face them. I'm facing them. I'm facing them. What's what? Why it is bad for me? The society won't respect us. What difference does it make whether respect or not? I can eat chicken biryani. I can go and see a movie. I can go to a five-star hotel. What difference does it make to me if society respects or not? Imagine someone respects society. The poor person doesn't have food to eat. He'll be happy? No. You require food to eat or not? You require food to survive? Only society respect in the person is starving to death. You know, in India, thousands of people are starving to death. What difference does it make? I must give me one good reason why robbing is bad, I stop robbing. Why it is bad for me? Can anyone else help him out? Why robbing is bad? Why robbing is bad? There are various answers, I'll help you out. You may say, Police will catch you. Good logical reason. Police will come and catch you. Correct, right or wrong? Correct. Ah, but you didn't give the... I'm helping you out. <laughs> but brother, I told you I'm a powerful mafia. The police is in my pocket. Ministers are in my pocket. Big mafia. See, all the top mafia, the police is in the pocket. They are on my payroll. The police is on my payroll. What will they catch me? Small robber like you should not rob. You will get arrested. I'm a top mafia. The police is on my payroll, even the ministers are on my payroll, they are in my pocket. So small robber like you should not rob, big mafia like me can rob. Another reason, I'll help you out. Maybe somebody will come and rob you. Yes. No one can rob me because I've got 100 bodyguards. All of them hiding behind the stage. Bodyguards. Small robber robs, somebody will rob him. No one can rob me because I've got bodyguards. Hundreds of bodyguards with AK-47. So logically, you cannot prove at all why robbing is bad. With all your science and technology, you cannot prove robbing is bad. So shall I take it in that way, you know, it is to make people fear that, you know, if you do the wrong things, then when you die. What wrong thing? Where is robbing wrong? First to prove it is wrong, na? Where is robbing wrong? You haven't proved to me robbing is wrong. When you prove robbing is wrong, then you can say don't do wrong things, na? Therefore, what is good, what is right, you require a creator to tell you.
you require a doctor to tell you what food is good what food is bad this fruit is poisonous this is healthy for you apple is healthy for you wild berries are poisonous for you a doctor tells you there's no better doctor than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala logically speaking logically speaking brother that mafia has got bodyguards no one can harm him and believe me there are many examples he dies a very comfortable death but i am asking a simple question now brother don't you think that there should be justice brother yes justice someone should punish him or not law is there but the law cannot punish every human being here bhai there are many mafias in italy there are many underworld people in india and the law can't do anything to them the law is in the pocket but yet you as a common man don't you think you should be punished raping is good or bad there are many people who rape they rape the girls no nothing the law cannot catch them so don't you think he should be punished yes or no yes but there are many people you see in this world who are big mafia they die comfortable that they are rich they are millionaires there should be some justice the reply is given by creator sulay al imran chapter number 3 verse number 85 allah says kullu nafsin zaikatul maut every soul shall have a taste of death but the final recompense will be on the day of judgment this life is the mere chattels of deception if there is no life after death this life is of injustice what we say that the total justice would be on the day of judgment our creator almighty god will give justice i tell the person fine you may be a big robber for example you are that mafia now i am a muslim no one can harm you police is in your pocket then i ask you justice is required yes if someone robs you no one can rob you agree but don't you feel there should be justice there are many robbers there are many evil there are many criminals who go scot free unless there is life after death you cannot prove robbing is bad you cannot prove raping is bad unless there is life after death no humanity no book on humanity no mother teresa no mahatma gandhi can prove robbing is bad without the concept of life after death because i am asking you a question hitler history tells us hitler insinuated 6 million jews how many jews 6 million 6 million suppose the law catches hitler what punishment can you give hitler so that you can compensate for he has burnt 6 million jews alive can you give him any punishment brother we have to put him in jail till his life death okay will it be equivalent to burning 6 million jews is burning better or putting in jail better it's burning is of, of course. course so maximum you can do is burn him alive but that will be equal to 1 out of 6 million what about the remaining 5 million 999999 people what about that what justice is your lord going to do but the quran says in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 56 as to those who reject our signs we shall cast them in the hell fire and as often as the skins are roasted we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain if hitler killed 6 million jews allah says he can put him into hell fire and give him fresh skin again 6 million times allah can burn him not here in the year after in the hell so only way i can prevent hitler from killing 6 million jews is tell him that here you kill 6 million jews allah will burn you 12 million times in the year after you can't give him that thing here what you realize without the concept of hell and heaven you cannot prove robbing is bad you cannot prove raping is bad that's the reason our creator almighty god who has created the human beings he tells us what is good what is bad for us and he tells us the rules and regulations this is called as religion so first you have to find out which book is the authentic book which has been revealed by this almighty god and when you do research you will come to it that is the quran all the scriptures speak about almighty god and all the scriptures they point out to the last and final revelation the quran and last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him hope that answers the question thanks do we have any more